negative. There is nothing called Shaitan, Rahman, and there is a, a, a part in the middle. Either Rahman or Shaitan. Either Hezbollah or Hezbollah Shaitan. The party of Rahman or the party of Rahman or Shaitan. It doesn't work. There is nothing called, oh, I am not obeying, I am not disobeying. It does mean you are doing nothing. Nothing called, I am not getting rewards and I am not getting sins. You are getting sins because there is no value for your time. There is nothing called the gray, either positive or negative. And if you are idle or imma, as Muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam said, it was my, I have nothing to do, I'm lazy, I'm here, it's not my business. No, you are with the other business. You are with the business of the shaitan. That is the reason Muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam said, as-sakit an al-haq, whomever is not gonna say the truth, is like what? Huh? Shaitan akhras. He's like a deaf devil. He's like a devil, but he cannot speak. If you can see the truth, but you will not say nothing. If you have been invited to be a witness and you will not say the truth, Shaitan akhras, deaf, dumb devil. But by the end, you are devil. And you have not disobeyed in your mind. You said no. I know the truth, but I cannot say it. It's still negative. Because Muhammad والسلام, said, لا يمنعنا رجلا. Nothing can stop a man to say the truth if he knows it. Nothing. Nothing. Even if sometimes it's going to let you pay your life as a price. And we have in the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The best shaheed with Hamza radiallahu an, a man who will say the truth in front of an oppressor and he will kill him. He will be with Hamza as a master of martyrs. You have to say it. They have started the trip. They were on the shore. They have seen a ship. فَانْطَلَقَ حَتَّى إِذَا رَكِبَ فِي السَّفِينَةِ خَرَقَهَا قال أخرقتها لتغرق أهلها لقد جئت شيئا إمرا قال لم أقل إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا قال لا تؤخذني بما نسيت ولا ترهقني من أمر عسرا فانطلق حتى إذا لقي غلاما فقتله قال أقتلت نفسا زكية بغير نفس لقد جئت شيئا نكرا قال ألم أقل لك إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا قال إن سألتك عن شيء بعدها فلا تصاحبني قد بلغت قد بلغت من لدني عذرا فانطلق حتى إذا أتى أهل قرية استطعم أهلها فأبوا أن يضيفهما فوجد فيها جدارا يريد أن ينقض فأقام قال لو شئت لاتخذت عليه أجرا قال هذا فراق بيني وبين they have left that place. On the shore, they have seen a ship. And the guys on the ship, they know Khidr alayhi salam. Khidr is from the area. And he asked them, they can just lie, give them a ride to another place. Al Khidr, Musa, and Yusha bin Nun have stepped in the ship. And at a certain time, at a certain time, Al Khidr alayhi salam has come to the front of the ship. And he has broken one of the boards, one of the wooden boards, like making, like making a hole. For Musa alayhi salam, I am patient, that's true. But till now, Musa alayhi salam doesn't know exactly what is the type of knowledge that the Khidr alayhi salam will teach him. But if I am seeing something wrong, I have to speak up. If Musa alayhi salam sees it's wrong, I have to speak up, I have to say, or I have to question. And that's what they did. Is it, is it worth it to be questioned for somebody? The guys are giving you a favor. You are coming to my house. I am giving you just like, mashallah, like a, a, a nice dinner, a nice meal. And suddenly you are going to a corner, one of the walls, and you are gonna keep breaking my whole wall. It doesn't, is it worth it for somebody who is mindful to say, man, why you are doing so? لَقَدْ جِئْتَ شَيْئًا إِمْرَى That's strange. It's something questionable. What's wrong? And Al-Khidr told him, Ha! 
You have forgot the deal, Musa. We said, no question till I'll get back to you. Oh, that's tough. Because I am between the two sides. Whatever is, is clearly wrong, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna stop? But meanwhile, I need to continue my trip and learn. He said, La <coughs> tuakhidni I forgot. Fine, don't take me for that, for that action. For forgetting the deal. But I, do, I didn't realize that it can come to that level. La tuakhidni bima nasitu wa la turhiqni min amri usra. Don't give me that hard time because if that is the way of that trip, it's tough. Because by the end, you are not dealing with a, with a lazy or a crazy man. You are dealing with a prophet. If there is something wrong, either I have to correct or I have to ask or I have to know exactly what is the... Is it true? But that's the deal. Be patient. Listen. And that's another, that's another attitude for those who want to learn. Especially the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen more than you talk. The problem, we don't, we don't act this way. How many ears we have? Two. How many tongues we have? Are we using it this way? No. That's true. Somebody are going to tell him, man, you have one tongue and two ears, but you are speaking ten times than you are hearing. Is it true? Allah made two ears and one tongue. Listen. As minimum the same the same percentage. Then he said, if that's the deal, now I understand that the, the patience is not that easy if that will be the time. They have dropped them in another place, and once they are on the, on the shore, Al Khudra alayhi salam have seen a group of kids playing with one another. He went to one of them, he brought it, he pulled out his head, killing him. And the narration said, Which one is stronger? First or second? Man, <laughs> just killing a kid? A kid. What is the reason? Musa cannot make. <laughs> we know that killing a nafs should be against a nafs. A man to a man. Why you did it? Nukra, this at the beginning, at the beginning, Imra means questionable, strange. Nukra means deniable. It cannot be accepted from Yunkir in Kaab. That's so bad. nukra. Then Al Khidr salam has repeated the same statement he mentioned earlier, but he has added laka, like somebody. Didn't I tell you my wife? That's the second time. Exactly the same. Did I tell you before? That's added, adding laka. Alam aqul laka. Did I remind you earlier? You will not be able to be patient with me. Alam aqul laka innaka lan tastati'a ma'ya sabra. Oh man. That's tough. And Musa alayhi salam, he, he has made it his own. Because now I know myself. I need to learn, that's fine. But those kind of exams, and he wanna, instead of, he made it tough on himself. Somebody, you are gonna, you are gonna say, oh, I'm gonna stay 10 days without eating like pickles. You are gonna make a promise on yourself. And you know yourself that you cannot even forget the pickle for a day. Is it true? Oh, I'm going to fast two years. Man, what you're talking about? He want to just make it tough on himself like, oh, it's a commitment. I am not deal with those guys for 10 days. Sometimes you are saying, I'm not going to, I'm going to, like, I'm going to deal bad with my wife for a month. And you cannot do it even for an hour. You, can, you say, I'm not going to kiss my son for 10 days. And after 10 minutes, you are gonna find something to bring him and just like give him a kiss. Is it true? I'm not talking to him. He did something bad. 
10 minutes you heard him crying. Oh man, up floor, Roger. He's on your hand kissing you. You have just me, and your wife is telling you, you are the one who has just said you will not give him a kiss? That's tough. Same exactly. Musa said, إن سألتك عن شيء بعدها If I'm gonna ask you again about anything, don't teach me anything. You are gonna have a separation between one another. Musa is trying to put a commitment on himself. Don't speak, don't speak. Same way. إن سألتك عن شيء بعدها فلا تصاحبني Don't join me anymore. Don't let me join you anymore. قد بلغت من لدني عذر I have no other excuses. And Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam said, if Musa would have been more patient, we would have learned a lot from al Khidr to Musa alayhi salam. Fantalaqa, they have changed the scene. They have visited a place, a village. And Musa alayhi salam and al Khidr, just like, you are like guests to somebody. They need to take care of you. The minimum, they need to take care of you. The minimum, is it true? And those guys were so bad to them. Even nothing, no drink, no have a seat, no help yourself, nothing. They were dealing with them so bad. However, Al Khidr has seen a wall that's almost on the way to be demolished, swaying. He went to that place, he brought the bricks, and he did install it, he did build it. Without even being invited. If you, if you would have told them, guys, I'm going to do it for you, but I need some money, or I need a wage, or I need a salary. And Musa alayhi salam, he said, you have seen how they dealt with us. لو شئت, if that is the case, the way they have dealt with us, why you made it this way? The minimum you can tell them, I need a wage, or a, just to be paid back for what I have done. لو شئت لاتخذت عليه أجر. If you wish, you would have taken something for what you have done for them. But you never. Then Khidr has made it. هذا فراق بيني وبيني. Now, that is the separation. Now you have made it. Even if Musa did not make that commitment, a deal, and deal with Khidr, they would have continued. But you are saying, if I will ask you again, don't let me join in you anymore. You are the one who made it. Don't play with vows, with nadr. Don't play with words. Don't play with divorce. That's a problem from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam said, because that's a, a major, a major disease in this Ummah. We are not paying an attention to what we are saying. And what Muhammad said 1400 years ago, when Mu'adh ibn Jabal asked him, Ya Rasulullah, are we going to be held accountable for what our tongue is saying? He said, Mu'adh, thakilatka ummuk. Mu'adh, be careful. It's very serious. Do you think that anyone will be put down in the hellfire, but because of the product of his tongue? Because of the fruits of his tongue? And in many narrations for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Bakr sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, That part is the one who put me down and he, would, he might take me to the hellfire. Abu Bakr. Muhammad alayhi salatu wa sallam said, Whomever is going to grant me whatever between her, whomever is going to grant me between his hips, which is the private part, and his tongue, I can grant him Jannah. Those two parts. If you can grant yourself to secure those two parts, to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam said, you are going to be granted Jannah. It's just a statement, a word, a word. Don't play with your wife or just like, uh, if you will not do, no, do that cup of tea for me, you are divorced. And she will, she's gonna be like stubborn or, oh, I'm not gonna do it. And she will not do it. And you are thinking what you are saying is a joke. She will not do the cup of tea. She is divorced. 